Hey guys, Galusia here, and today I'm starting out by continuing to work with my miner, which appears to have hit its bottom layer, probably some some bedrock at that point. But so as you can see, uh, it works pretty good once you make all the stuff for it, um, plus like 20 coal because I already pulled the coal out of it. But that's a decent amount of stuff. Um, let's see. What do we got here? 59. All right. Now, I'm going to fill this up with stone like I've been doing, but someone actually suggested that if you put just one piece of glass in here, it replaces it with glass and then leaves the hole and you instantly get all your pipe back. And that would be pretty awesome. That would obviously save on a lot of energy. This chicken just made me fall, so I killed it. Uh, but I have a few things to go over with you we're getting into some dangerous territory because I'm getting ready to make a nuclear reactor um, nuclear reactors aren't super complicated they don't require like a ton of resources but um, they are very dangerous they can explode and will leave giant craters in their way so what I've gone ahead and, and already done um, oh quick update as you can see I added a solar panel to this one which uh, powers my lights and my recycler and then I added three solar panels on that which powers all my other machines and I put a uh, transmitter there to help push the power and so on and so forth so as you can see I've already made a big long line of cable I changed it to sand using our uh, obscurator when I could and it's going way out into the middle of the deep waters um, just like a regular like a real nuclear reactor and they they need to keep it cool and they have giant water cooling you know setups going on so when we make our nuclear reactor it's just going to be underwater and then I'm just going to build like a wooden dock to go out to it so I don't have to keep swimming to it because that would be a pain in the butt um, so I basically just been making I've been playing I think I'm making this video like two days after the last video that I made maybe three days and I've pretty much just been spending the entire time just using my miner and getting I mean look how much stuff I got like look at all this stuff are you serious the only thing I ran out of was diamonds because I ended up using them I made a couple more energy crystals and I made all my pipes diamond tipped pipes. That way they dig twice as fast, so you use a lot less energy. And they also will dig through and collect um, obsidian if you by chance had to hit some obsidian. So I was just checking those levels. <sighs> One of these days when I'm not actually playing Minecraft, I need to remember to just leave this running so I can just collect a bunch of energy because <laughs> I'm really falling behind. Okay, um, uh, what was I going to do? Okay, let me just convert all this real quick because eventually I'm going to go ahead and make that dock like I was talking about. Um, one thing I wanted to show you real quick is pretend this is regular pipe and not diamond pipe. All you do is you make the shape of like boots and then you're gonna put a diamond right here and that's gonna give you four diamond tip pipes so it takes one diamond for every four and I have enough that I could I had I'd started out with 64 so I could from sea level go all the way down uh, but now I think I have like 72 so even if I'm not at sea level I can still go all the way down so that's what I'm working on uh, we get to work on some iron. I don't want to smelt the gold just yet. But what I need right now is tin, uh, bronze, and refined iron. I'm not going to make a ton of this stuff, but let me think. Um, we'll start off with just three. I need to show you guys how to make metal blocks. Obviously... This is a lot of resources. It only makes two for nine, nine, and nine. So, I mean, yeah, it's a lot. Um, but you need, yes, compressor. You need metal blocks. Boop. And these are going to be compressed into, oh, wait, recycler. Can't not recycle. Boop. 
advanced alloy and we're going to need a few of these when we're making our nuclear reactor so that's why I wanted to show you real quick how to make those metal blocks and then in turn how to make the alloy so I'm going to go ahead and just um, work a little bit on with my miner I'm going to keep digging I'm going to finish making these and get all the resources together and ready to go and then hopefully show you what the deal is because besides making a nuclear reactor what I wanted to do was where am I going we're gonna go down in here in the basement real quick the this whole setup with all the the three solar panels and the two wind things are going to end on this now I'm gonna remove the cable coming out the bottom and this it will only be hooked up to the lighting on this side of the wall and then this will be hooked up to the lighting on this side of the wall hopefully we'll fix some of our problems with the lighting I don't know again why 1.7 broke that but whatever and it'll stay hooked up to this this is hooked up to this right now um, so it's still gonna have a purpose but not nearly as much of a purpose and what I'm gonna do is like all the, this will get unhooked so it's no longer connected to it and then the uh, this we will just get rid of it I'll drain the energy out so it's not wasted and then I will pop that and we're gonna make an MFS unit and an MFS unit is basically the same thing as an MME transmitter except it holds up to three million power level so that's obviously way more awesome this is our cable leading from the nuclear reactor so it's you know almost all the way up it's ready to be hooked up it's gonna take a lot of resources to make the MFS unit uh, but I guess since I need that before I have the nuclear reactor we'll get to work on that so we need an advanced machine and for an advanced machine we need eight power crystals and right now I have five and I don't have any more diamonds because I use them all for my uh, pipes so worst case scenario if I don't find any more diamond because uh, my miner did find some diamond earlier it found like six diamonds and that was pretty cool but if I don't find any more diamond in the near future uh, I do have a decent amount of coal I can make some industrial diamonds I did say in a previous episode that I was going to show you guys how to do that so you know now would be as good as time as any I suppose so we'll see what happens I'm going to keep just kind of running with this um, and we'll make as much as we can for right now we can make the nuclear reactor and just not fill it up yet because f the way the nuclear reactor works is first you stick the uranium inside the nuclear reactor and it'll turn those into one piece of uranium turns into four uh, fuel rods and it's the actual fuel rods in the nuclear reactor that generate the power so we could just make it just to make a bunch of fuel rods and then actually hook it up for power purposes later so yeah it'll just it'll just depend on how I want to go oh yeah I wanted to try the glass thing too alright I'm gonna go get some glass and I'm going to get all those resources together we'll make a nuclear reactor I'll set it up and we'll start doing the whole thing with fuel rods and that'll probably wrap up today's episode because it's a pretty complex machine. Last episode was a little bit long because I was hanging out with Zen for that episode. So I'll shorten this one up a little bit. We'll just get done with the nuclear reactor. And then for the next episode, hopefully I'll get that MFS uh, unit set up and see if I can rewire this stuff. I'm about to just like tear down like all these freaking lights and redo it because I don't know why they're not working anymore. But it's pretty frustrating. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I went ahead and gathered all the stuff that I was going to need. These are all the ingredients right here. And it's actually not that bad when you think about it. I mean, glowstone, once you get the portal, is very abundant. Uh, the only really expensive thing was the alloy. I mean, circuits are kind of expensive, but at this point with my miner, uh, it's not a problem. So, biggity bam nuclear reactor I'm scared just holding this thing this can seriously do some damage guys like if you're gonna use this thing um, you definitely need to take precautions uh, one major precaution that most people will take is submerging it in water obviously I'm pushing it away from my house but honestly like if it was like right here like where I'm at right now 
the explosion might reach my house. So, like, I'm serious. It's pretty severe. I've seen them go off when they're not properly cooled or whatever else. Boop. All right. So, boom. Let me just float up here so I can stop drowning. So, as you can see, um, it doesn't require any power. It'll power itself just to make the bars, but obviously it's going to take a long dang time. And I have 23 pieces to, we'll call it refine, and you can see how long it's going to freaking take. So it's actually good that we set it up now because it's going to take a million years. So <laughs> this way, while I'm working on gathering the necessary resources for the MFS unit, that'll be hard at work. So I'm going to go ahead and make my dock uh, heading out there. I have some wood. So I'm going to go ahead and make a dock heading out there so I can stop, you know, walking uh, or walking so I can stop swimming. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish the dock and just get back to mining, guys. Um, the only other thing I could say is if you need it closer, like you'll see, obviously, like I have a ton of cable so you are going to have a little bit of a power drop off by the time it gets all the way to your house i was originally going to put it in here um problem with that is again the explosion so a lot of people either make refined stone which is expensive or spend a million years gathering obsidian and they would like line the walls of this with obsidian and whatnot that'll help contain the blast but again like you're going to need a lot of uh, obsidian to make that work so it's all about how much time you want to spend and how much you're looking to get out of it um one piece of uranium makes um how much does it make it makes four bars and each bar is good for 40,000 power so each one piece of uranium will equal up to 160,000 power which is why you can't just hook it up to a regular transmitter because that only holds 60,000 power like you're going to fill it up pretty quick and I could make a series of uh, transmitters so that they'll all end up storing up the power or whatever but I think it's better and fancier just to use the MFS unit and you guys should know how to make it anyway but like I said a lot of power crystals so uh, that's our biggest problem with that and did I pass it wow I passed it um, I'm a genius okay so I'm gonna go away for a little bit <laughs> okay guys so what I'm gonna do is show you uh, the key component to the MFS unit and to certain extremely advanced machines uh, as you know the machine is the building block for all of our machines that we've made so far uh, more or less but what we're gonna need for the very advanced stuff is an advanced machine uh, I already showed you how to make the advanced alloy the carbon plate I was going to make to make a nano suit but it was giving me issues so I haven't actually made a video for that yet and I just happen to already have some made so I will take the time to show you guys that later if need be it basically just requires a lot of coal that you have to turn into dust and arrange in certain ways and compress and so on and so forth so we got our advanced machine but like I said we need eight freaking energy crystals I'm not sure if they have to be charged or not it's you can't stack them if they're charged so for now I'm not worrying about charging them um, but yeah I only have five so I need three more to go which means three diamonds the redstone is not an issue diamonds obviously are as soon as I hit a deposit of diamonds obviously that should immediately you know come to three di it's rare that you only find like one or two diamonds so if I can get lucky enough to hit a pack of diamonds then we'll be good and look at that I have enough scrap to make a box so like many of my episodes I will go ahead and end it here guys um, we got all the building blocks needed it is working hard it's actually probably been about 10 minutes since I stuck it in there and it was like just now finishing just like one piece of uranium so it's a long process and by the time you are far enough ooh, look it's about to finish the second piece by the time that you're far enough along in 
industrial craft that you have the resources available to build a nuclear reactor and an MFS unit, you'll probably be like me and have a butt ton of uranium saved up because there's nothing else that you would have been able to do with it at this point. So, um, you know, obviously it's a good idea to go ahead and uh, since the nuclear reactor wasn't nearly as hard to make as the MFS unit, you can just do like I'm doing. Uh, build a nuclear reactor. I mean, honestly, like just based on the amount of time that I'm going to be able to play in a given day, it's probably going to take me a couple days <laughs> to get through all those pieces of uranium. So I'm glad that we went ahead and built that. So yeah, next episode, hopefully I'll have the diamond necessary for the MFS unit. Let's go for the good finale. Scrap box and coal dust. Could be worse. Okay, guys. Uh, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.